So doesn't that does that kind of trump everything? Uh, climate change, in a sense. Yeah, of course it does, and that's and that's why we never talk about it or pay attention to it because human brains are just not equipped to deal with this. It's just on a scale that we can't deal with, right? And imagine an iceberg moving at point zero zero three miles an hour towards the sea. No, I can't. That's really hard, right? Imagine a quadrillion tons of water. What are you talking about, right? We just can't deal with that. And also the notion that the externalities that we produce by our own actions, consuming, breathing, walking around, doing our stuff, is actually destroying our children's future. It's just an incredibly hard ask for people to just take that on full board. So we're all in denial. We're like smokers who always pretend that somebody else is the guy who gets cancer. So we just don't take it seriously. So to me, it's like, that's a great analogy. I, what I say is, you know, we're we're a bunch of adult children of alcoholics in America, where we don't <laughs> we don't we don't get mad at the alcoholic or the guy screwing us. We get mad at the guy who points out that there's a guy screwing us. And that, yeah, that's, that's that's good. I like that one. It's a good one, Jimmy. Definitely. But you no, know, let, let me give you some optimism on this one because you know it's not as bad as it seems, or it doesn't have to be as bad as it seems. First of all, a lot of these po the policies are driven basically by the boomer generation. They're the only generation in human history that's managed to increase its consumption all the way through the life cycle. Mm. They've cut taxes on themselves all the way through their lives. Now they're terrified of death taxes, death panels, and they're going to spend 20% of GDP trying to live forever in the last six weeks of life, right? That's, part, that's a problem. Well, you know, society evolves one funeral at a time, and millennials now outnumber them, but millennials don't vote. So lesson number one, millennials out there, stop being silly. Get out, get organized, and get real with your politics. And then actually demand change. Congress will listen to you because once the other guys are gone, you're the only people left. It has to happen that way. Second one, technologically, the only way we're really going to deal with climate change is not through intergovernmental agreements with 200 governments, half of which are going to cheat. Right. It's going to be technology. And there are technologies out there in batteries that are coming online. There's some really amazing stuff whereby now you can basically build a house and you put a roof on it. It costs exactly the same as a normal roof. It's entirely solar. We're a couple of years away from wall-sized batteries where you could be 60% off-grid any standard house that you would build. We just need the investment. And we need the investment in green tech. Now, if we don't do it, if we have the climate change uh, government in denial here, then who's going to do this? It's going to be the Germans. The Germans have already signed up to something called the Energy Vendor, the Energy Change. They have the Mittelstand, this incredible engineering complex. They know that if they crack green tech, usable green tech, they will sell it to the rest of the world for 100 years. And they'll be able to sell it to the Chinese who will take it to scale because their air is already unbreathable. So that's the axis where it's all going to happen. And we are going to basically take our heads out of our proverbial backsides eight to ten years from now and go, oh, shit, turns out all this stuff's real. Somebody should have done something about it, right? Kids have alcoholics response, right? And at that point, we'll need to buy it from the Chinese and the Germans. Whereas we could be demanding investment now, getting our companies ahead on us, creating jobs with us, and dealing with the greatest existential threat that's out there. Had, and I'll say this in defense of the Democrats, had, the, had uh, Clinton actually won this round, we would be a lot closer to being in that position because those people may have their issues, but they do understand this. What's truly terrifying about this administration is the fact that it just pretends it's not there. So you've just given America a four to eight year hiatus on basically the only tech that matters. Yeah, so instead of investing in in green energy, you know, I voted for the candidate who had a Green New Deal. So I, I feel proud of myself about that. Because